guys, so I'm back with another video. This one, as you can see, I'm speaking at a normal volume. And um, it's a new update to the script editor that I showed, which was my the short video I posted last night. Um, basically, I've added um, a new type of uh, edit, uh, script box that allows for line numbering and syntax highlighting for Python. Um, it also has IntelliSense, but I haven't yet implemented that. So that's something that'll come later, um, as well as multiple script edit, uh, multiple um, editing multiple scripts at one time. That'll come in a little while. Uh, but first, I'll show you. So here's the script editor. When it opens up, you can maximize it. You can also increase the um, font size. As you can see, it's highlighting um, syntax highlighting and Let's do a little little test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import system. I'm going to add reference. See how it highlights. <clears throat> I'm going to add a reference to system.windows.forms. I'm going to also add a reference to system system dot drawing and we're just going to import some stuff from there so I'm just going to import every, import everything from system dot window stuff forms we're going to create ourselves a little form and run it Form dot size. And form dot show. So we're going to run this. Brings up global size. Oh, okay. So it's because hmm, let's see if that works. There we go. So now we have a, uh, we literally imported Windows Forms into Python, and we're running it from a Python script. So that's an example of C Sharp, um, the power of Iron Python to be able to actually use C Sharp classes. Now, the point of that would be for this being a scripting engine, um, I can add it as a layer <coughs> on top of my game engine to interface Python scripts with C Sharp and vice versa to be able to edit my game real time without having to compile again. So it's really powerful. Um, now to show that, I will show you, see here, assemblies. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to load an assembly. I'm going to go into C Sharp, into scripting. See this test library? I'm going to go into the debug. See this DLL? Well, that's the assembly. Now what that did is that loaded a library project that I made that had a class called player. Now player exists here <coughs> as you can see in test library dot objects and what we're going to do is we're going to create a player. I'm going to name them player1 and give them an ID I don't know one and instead of having this do test Python form, we're going to have it have player dot name and might as well uh, print player. So let's run this. As you can see, player one has the text, and it also printed using the the player's two string defined here. So that is an example of using. Um, to find uh, C Sharp assemblies and importing them into Python. Um, what we also have is the ability to save, so I can save this. Um, I'll just save it to Iron Python scripts. I'll save it. Um, I'll save it as uh, I don't know uh, test script. 
and um, and then I can load. I can go new. Yep, we already saved it. See how I add that for you, and then I can just load it back. There we go. Test script. So that's a basic idea of how that works. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, more coming soon.